what's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. In this episode we are attacking the Courland capital at Yargava uh, and this is part of our ongoing war with Courland and Poland-Lithuania. So let's crack on and attack this last holdout and create another front line between ourselves and Sweden. Um, our short term goals are to attack or to destroy Courland, destroy Poland-Lithuania and I think the next thing to do is potentially to try and take control of Copenhagen. Copenhagen, if we can take it, will get us access to another front line, a potential front line against uh, the Prussians, but also we can use it as a springboard to invade the British Isles, who we are also already at war with. So that's a potential option there. And then once we take the British Isles, the Americas will be ripe for the, for the plucking. Okay, let's get the howitzers down. They're going to be... actually deploy them up. They're going to be deploying quick climb. I've got my foot artillery. Back here, I think. We're only going to make the one breach. Then we're going to wrap around the fort. Just keep these troops behind. They're going to try and push in towards the breach when it's done. My general, my hussars, hold back. So foot artillery, engage the wall. Engage the wall. I think it's because I'm not getting sound effects. I can't necessarily... God knows why the game decides to do this. These units, your target is the mortar battery. Both artillery is engaging the walls at speed up time while the breach is taking place. A couple of shots might hit these trees on the way in. Although, because I've given them an order and sped up time. Yeah, look. Can you guys not hit that section of the wall? Okay, for this section then. Is this battery bugged? Right, we're gonna limber them up. You're in, you're engaging the next this section. Just the one gun's gonna hit them. So I've lost a gun because I was trying to reposition them. Oh, and stay where you are, then get through we'll get all the guns firing. Howitzers are doing howitzers are doing their job. Spread the quick climb out, just to make sure we get all of the crew. So that they just they do not want to shoot. Interesting, these, these guys are completely bugging out. Let's try to get you out of the way. Six crewmen. I'm down to four crewmen, that's probably enough. Start to try to thin out some of the men on the walls. We position that artillery here. It's weird that we've only got the one. I mean, is it? It's not the trees, because you can see it. You've got a direct line of sight. is risky because the cannon shell can take out both of our gun crews. Take them on position. Limber. I truly want to try to get my artillery sorted. Okay, 
good. If I get you to aim at the men on top of the wall, can I get more of you shooting? No, those guns have still... Yeah, they don't want to play ball. Okay, let's make a breach. This speed is set to get a breach, then at least it gets a bit more interesting. Oh no, you don't want to shoot now. Great, so I had six guns. None of them are shooting now. What the hell is up with the AI in, AI in battle today? Yeah, fair enough, you might have a tree in the way. Let's make that breach. Let's get the ore. I suppose it might be easier to also task the howitzers to engage the wall just to make sure we do get in. But the problem is they're probably... Okay, yeah, they are shooting. Good. Let's make sure we can definitely get a breach. One thing we don't want to be is stuck outside. We can get a couple of kills on the way in. But yeah, if we don't have a breach, then we have to... Scale the walls, which is a lot more problematic, and it's definitely a lot riskier. You end up really needing to capture these sections over the gates. It's not impossible, but even then, having breaches just breaks the enemy's ability to run around the top of the walls to reinforce and their defences against your attacks. So, breaches are just the way to go. And once the breach is done, we can advance. The poor 104th Regiment is the focus of their artillery fire, it looks like. Well, are we going to get anyone? Yeah, we've got somebody. Okay, and the force is going to move over this way. start to quick climb some of these larger formations of infantry so that would have been prime strategy there to try and collapse this while they're running down it but never going to get that completely okay let's get these guys running it looks like we can capture this section of the wall pretty nicely we might have one, one mortar to deal with. Two mortars. Okay, let's get my one unit of quick climbing howitzers to work on them. When the pikemen are in range, they'll probably go after them instead. Quick climbs coming in, absolutely murdering these the uh, defenders. Start to give some orders to push up. So you even have an objective of covering the breach. Pikemen can stay behind, they're like the artillery targets. Militia conscripts can spar with the troops on the walls. Get up here. Secure this wall. Get my cavalry up here as well. There we go. They're after my pikes. Yeah. Two guns up. That's okay. Kill one of the crewmen, so that's... Can you man the gun on your own? Looks like you can. Yep. Okay, you're actually out of range of the men on the wall. That's not terrible. You men scale the wall there. You men scale the wall here. You men defend gate.
Okay, then. A good chunk of you are just going to hunker down. They're probably going to try and sally. It's always the rain. I don't know why the rain makes everything just rubbish. Make sure you guys are fire at will. Oh. Okay, there we go. They're sending troops to try and defeat the flank, but it's not going to work. Well, I infantry guards went up here, anticipating them trying to push through. Okay, let's get my pikemen involved in the breach. Let's get my howitzers to go after this block of troops. No, line infantry guards, don't run down the walls. Mass on the top. There we go. The gate is ours. Now they're starting to panic. Those Phylok armed citizens are going to be engaged by my men outside the walls. So they want to run out and attack me, but they can't. That's when this happens. I mean, I don't know why you're trying to run that way. We the gate. Ours, my heart is. Charge the second regiment. They don't even have bayonets. They line up infantry guards. Charge down the walls. Run up a new unit to support them. Who are you? Is that the pikeman? Might be. Get the general up here. Okay, you men take that gatehouse. We'll get our hussars around the back. Give the infantry orders just to run through the gap. You're mowing your way through the second regiment. Get one unit through to try and attack the. to get into the house. And stop firing. Let's see if you men can get into the command HQ. Gates, ours. Get my cavalry in to attack the demi cannons. Get my infantry down off the wall. Great. They're being fired upon from the men on the walls. That's super. You men make ready and fire to engage the fourth regiment of. Well, no, you're not engaging the cavalry. The, the cavalry, that's the um, artillery. That's not what we want. Kill the gunners. This infantry pouring in. There you go. Everybody's under fire from all directions. The 80 seconds in advance. Skirmishes are running in. Killed the enemy general. He's been shot to ribbons. Killed the gunners. The last one remaining. What are you meant to form up here, really? And form a killing field. God, look at all these dead, fallen quick climbers. Finally! Some gunshots. So the 4th Regiment are holding in the centre. 
that's not going to work for them. If I get my cavalry back out of the way. We're just gunning down everybody in the center. the cavalry over here. They can run around and start to attack these fellows. A mixture of a line infantry and pikes are in the breach trying to cut their way through. And their infantry don't even have bayonets. Let me get my howitzers just to stop firing. I'm surprised we haven't taken a lot more blue on blue. Fourth regiment is not in a good state. Tuning off the walls. You men commit. Conscript secure the gate. Line up for true advance. There you know, we finally just. This poor guy. Got him. Hold the center. Push. Push. Charge the rear of that last block of troops. There we go, they broke. Charge the back of this block. There we go. Pressure from all directions at once. They could not withstand it. Excellent. Still, a bit of a not so good battle, but there we are. That sometimes happens. I don't know what it is about my particular installation, it just seems a bit unstable. Now Garva's ours, let's repair the Royal Palace. Let's get the army replenished, let's destroy the fishery. Upgrade the roads, but we probably don't have to do much more than that. I mean, they hate us, but that'll happen. Once we repair the government building, that should take care of that. We might. No, we're going to be miles away from getting rid of that last religious unrest. Yeah, we took Vilnius. We've got... Let's maybe advance. Let's advance you up. To add another threat vector. But you require the services of a unit of heavy cavalry. And a skirmisher of some type. Swiss Mountain Jäger. Even though it's minus one, we can't get them until somewhere uh, fixes their infrastructure. We'll find out where that is. Ah, it's in Moscow. What's broken? Or have we, have we started to... Oh no, we just don't have the money. No way. Yeah, we don't have the money. Okay, push the agents. Oh yeah, I mean, you've already got orders, so I can leave you alone. Hmm. Okay. So diplomacy, let's start the next section of our plan. Denmark. Our war with Sweden and Prussia, that's not a big deal. Um, we're... Gun, gonna be gunning for war with them at some point anyway. Call my allies in. Who are the traitors? Oh, we're all in. We are all in. Although that does complicate matters, because now I was kind of hoping they wouldn't. I can't say it out, because then we'll get caught by. Right, okay. These get these ships going, in which case, let's. Oh, no, no, on the opposite. Actually, if you could go here, you cut off the Dutch, the supply, <clears throat> the trade with the, with the Danish. 
you're weighing on one unit of heavy cavalry. You can sail over and attack uh, Finland. Although you may be required to support our newly captured territory. Disembark the army. March up. Okay, so we've got the squeeze on them here. Mr. Bruno, let's try and replenish. See if they fancy their chances. Let's start to try and assassinate their agents. Got him. You up here at Corellia, can you leave? Minus two, in theory they can. Let's, But let's leave them in there for one more turn. We've got another army moving up to the front line, so that's okay. Okay, that was a bit of a blunder, really, but there we are. Let's see if we can draw the Prussians into one cataclysmic action against us. I think that's your best general. Oh, no, didn't get him. Let's try use you. Oh, you must have acted already. Right. Don't worry, Bavaria's on our side, so we might be able to lure the lure the Prussians south. Right, let's hit N10 and see how much of a mess they've made for us there. Killed a Prussian agent. I mean, Britain's had the hearts for us for a while. United Provinces have been at war with us also for a, for a hot minute. Right, we need to make sure we bolster our economic development. Yeah, Spain are reeling from the damage that we've done to them in the south. They have no choice but to keep Tangier garrisoned. Uh, I'm going to fight it just because it will keep the numbers of the casualties down. 26 men will probably do, you know, 300, 400 casualties to our troops. So we really want to minimise that if we can. Try and make that not be a big problem. Group my heavy cavalry. Walking, hidden. <laughs> yeah, killed a few of my heavy cavalrymen, but not enough. Killed, killed their captain. Let's carry on just to make sure they die. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Two casualties. You're, you're gone, matey boy. Okay, so now we're in total war territory. That's right. Send troops away from Hanover. <laughs> they really want peace. But no. I think the problem is they're at war with... Oh, you idiots. You just... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat with these guys. Let them pull back. Ah, you're going to make us fight. It will be your doom. The reason why I said idiots is because Prussia has sent all of their troops away from Hanover. Hanover is able to be assaulted and taken by our troops. And then all of those Prussian stacks are will will just disappear. They've gone on the offensive, and it is it will cost them dearly. It will cost them their faction, and their troops, their regions will be fully under our control. Okay. 
mission is simple. Hold. So we are perfectly well equipped to deal or to do such a mission with this force. Late game armies are very capable, very dangerous. In shrapnel range? No, they are not. Focus on their blocks of troops. Yeah, they've got horse artillery, but we don't really care about that. Skirmishes. Lancers, two generals bodyguard units, it's not even their general, for some reason this is their general. Mighty strange. Good hits. I gave you an opportunity, Poland. I gave you the freedom to decide not to do this. Okay, once you have some better targets. Although, actually, what I might do is to get my foot artillery to engage the skirmishers with shrapnel shot, get my howitzers to pop, quick climb off at their infantry. Although, it's done my cavalry in. If the general comes after me, they will die. I hear their cavalry charging. I hear someone charging. It's probably, it must be, it's probably just my guys. The general, my shrapnel shot's aiming at the general. I gave you new quick climb targets, how it says. Listen to me. Shrapnel has just torn the guts out of those general's bodyguard units. Shattered, push on to the blunderbuss shotgunners. Switch to round shot. You can engage us with with musket fire if you wish. I'm going to definitely kill some of your own chaps. Although with all those skirmishes on there, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna make them break. Get out of there, you! Oh, I need more coffee. Artillery sweep away skirmishes. Then creeping forward. Oh, it says open fire. I'm actually chasing them down. Well, I suppose they better make them concentrate fire on the horse artillery to their front. That's committed their cavalry. My cavalry's come back. Kill the blunderbuss shotgunners. Suddenly the blood of a shotgun is going, oh Jesus, they're back! The 
general's bodyguard units are getting mowed down. They're trying to push towards our line. The commander's still here. Whether that's their general or not, I don't know. Oh, he's gone. Strange. Oh, bad sound effect to play. How goes my cavalry over here? All right. Shattered. Excellent. Run far away. Oh, I got my carabiner. Throw, throw you men into the into the block. Spin my carabiner around. The general has to get involved against this regiment of horse. See if my regiment of horse can sneak around the back and go after their artillery. And the answer is going to be definitely no. So just go for the irregular. If you route, you route. Artillery shred their infantry formations. Kill the enemy cavalry. Advance on the left. Vina, get up here. Fire at will arm. Chase away those gorillas, then we'll fold the, the fold the flank in. Grenadiers are up and ready to start shooting into the flank of these Polish troops. So that's the irregulars gone. Go after the cavalry. Artillery, focus fire on that regiment, of course. Push forward. Carabina, go after some of these routing troops. No. Go after the horse artillery. Hold the flank in. Artillery, artillery got some shots off on them. Might not be enough of them to break them, but that'll do. Form square, there's a marauding regiment of horse around. Eleven cavalrymen versus eight dismounted men. Push forward. I don't care how thin your lines get, we need to spin around here. How it says drop some shots onto the first regiment of horse. Yeah, chase after those mercenaries because they're broken but not routed. Artillery engage these holes that have returned. Four he went back to the line. So fall them back to the line. Advance the line up to them. Not the not an efficient layout, but I think we're at a point where we don't have to worry about efficiency. Trap the shot slamming shells home against the first regiment. Nice. It's 
something like that. And there goes the cavalry. Lob shots in against the 20th regiment. Right. Cavalry finally. I thought they broke from exhaustion, but no, they must have just had enough. Foot artillery keep engaging the Druid mercenaries, and you men can advance up to screen them off. Carabino is still chasing the Druid mercenaries around. Great. Regiment of Horse have had enough. Coherent line. Advance into the trees. This is their actual commander. Our it says keep dropping round shot onto them if you can. them. Just tag them. Keep them busy. Oh no, they routed. Nice. Cavalry, cut them off and engage them. Those mercenaries are shattered. Advance up the hill. There go. They're gone too. All for a battle that didn't need to be fought, Poland. It didn't need to be fought and it will cause the downfall of your empire. Because now you have left your last city completely unprotected and there's nothing you can do about it i mean you could send some guys in there sure smart move by the ai there because it pins in that army and prevents them from driving east so that was actually a good move not necessarily to say they're going to win but if they didn't do it i could definitely w kill their faction next turn so it makes sense Okay, then we've got this Swedish pustule at St. Petersburg to deal with. Louisiana's fighting somebody. Looks like it's the Dutch. Persians are clearing out Dagestan. We want to swap Astrakhan for Goa. No. I'll come get your lands myself. Or are they going to go and invade Persia? That would be fun if they just started to drive out through the Middle East. But I don't think they're going to. So, Denmark, what's your response? Not much. Oh, the Bavarians lost. It looks, like, it looks like they lost a battle to the Dutch. Rebels, Moroccan rebels still wandering around in the south. Right. So, yeah, look at this. This territory, I mean, all of these troops, you can just. We're going to get Avengers Endgame on them. Yeah, you got some support, but a lot less support than you did have. Especially if I am going to want some support, just in case. Okay, first of all, is there anything we have to deal with right now? We're not going to do any of the building work yet. Yeah, 
you're not in range to attack Minsk. Let's see if we can assassinate Kazimierz. Kazimierz. Didn't get him. We got that. Oh, this is the um, Prussian agent to the south. Let's go up into into United Provinces territory. Let's send our agents to go after Dutch targets. Jakobus Schaefer. Workers on strike. Don't really care about most of that. Ooh, Eleven percent. He's a very good general. No, nope, bad luck. I mean, yeah, okay, right. There's lots of lots of battles to fight this time. We don't want to spend any money on um, civil, you know, on building up any infrastructure or anything like that. All right, let's let's attack the city of Hanover. The enemy has howitzers, so they will be able to counter battery us right from the off. So we are going to want to make sure we, we focus fire on those entities first and then when we do advance on the city we want to make sure we know what direction the enemy reinforcements are coming in from and we capture the relevant gates to prevent them from uh, marching in and instead force them to have to run all the way around and either we either go through the breaches that we make or um, or uh, have to scale the walls themselves So we're going to focus on one breach. How it's his position forward. Everybody format to take that into account. Something like this. Foot artillery. Attack. One of you attack the mortars, one of you attack the howitzers. Oh, the mortars are actually firing. Okay, you want to definitely go after them. You're going to go after my. The, land, the landing amongst my howitzers. How did that not kill anybody? Horse artillery isn't actually shooting, so let's focus all my efforts on attacking their gun crews here. Yeah, they do fire their mortars faster than I fire my howitzers. Especially when you load the cannons like that. one of my gun crews the breach is being made handsomely <laughs> what's he doing okay, another volley in come on do some devastating damage Nothing. He didn't actually kill any of the crew of the guns. Not a single crewman kill. This gun team's bugged, mostly. They are actually not capable of firing, so it's only one gun here plus this battery. Three gun out of two batteries of six guns, only three are actually capable of shooting now. Two crew. You 
now have... Do you have enough men to actually shoot again? Yes, you're back in action. Now it's your turn to... Oh no, you are shooting. He's just loading the guns terribly. Quick climb away. Misfire. That's killed four crew. Still not enough. They're still able to man all the guns. Are there any actually capable of firing? They are. I mean, it was a bit ballsy to push them this far forward anyway. If they're directly in line, directly in range of their mortars, then obviously that, that's 500 and they're within range of their counter battery fire. Take this as a learning opportunity, friends. You're actually capable of firing the gun. Okay, so I've got two batteries. Only one gun is actually able to shoot. The buggy nature of the guns. Like, look. They're all just sat here. If I limber you up and run you away. Let's just really try that. Scoot them away. Should have done this a lot sooner. <laughs> it's killed one howitzer. It's been killed by accurate fire. Just the one gun. No, don't shoot your own targets. Bill Founders go after that section of the wall. We want to try and break down the cannons. One gun may actually... One battery, just keep putting um, shrapnel shot into the breach. It's been a horse artillery. Horse artillery, where are the howitzers? Howitzers are not currently unlimbered. So you want to shoot right here. Try to take out that howitzer in particular. Should be able to get some good kills in the center. All right, now is the time to advance. We want one infantry unit to cover flank. A couple of units on a start. Push towards this section. Actually, these two units push around to secure this section. This howitzer might just start firing round shot into the enemy. Cavalry units go around. If all of you go around the right. You're going to need to switch your shots to round shot. They might be better off starting to just attack some of the units defending the walls. Actually, both of you guys aim at that part of the fort. Kills of their gunners. Who's that way for horse or two? Reinforcements! Don't need a general, that's what's coming in. Oh, 
they coming. Oh Lord, they coming. You may need to run up and secure safe corridor. Pushing out stoppers. Putting down defenses. Actually, now keep attacking this bastion. Grenadiers up here to protect the skirmishers. Here comes the howitzer fire. Grenadier guards, they're going to do some good damage. Gates. Bring in the guards, push forward and attack the fusiliers. Especially good to die to quick line fire anyway. How it says, pound the centre of the round shot. Oh my god! Bugged cavalry, yes! 375 cavalry! The gatehouse is ours. Support the fight up here against the Grenadier Guards. Original horse, get in. Heavy cavalry, get in. Carabina, get in. First unit into the breach. You men push up and hold. Grenadier guards against the fusiliers. Impressions are wavering here. Oh, great mercenaries. Forgot about you. Come here. Push forward, men. Well, one of you is going to hold here. One of you is going to hold here and wait for this to collapse. Carabina, set up here and shoot the center. Infantry, get in. Give you orders to secure that gate. Feeding men into the center, into the breach. Machine men through the gap. Heavy cavalry section, get in here. Heavy cavalry go after the howitzers. Ganging up on this one unit of grenadier guards. One Union Swiss Grenadiers can help take out the Fusiliers. Kill, kill the enemy horse artillery. You guys have broken through here.
stand just here. Although you need to run around the stakes, really. It's probably... Eh, no, keep fighting in the centre. The carabiner... I mean, I really hate how my cavalry were inside the gate. But they decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to... I'm just going to run back out of the city instead. That's a much funner idea. Secure the command HQ. So you're going to go here. Stand right here. <laughs> That's the tick started again. Kill those Prussian grenadiers. the Prussian Grenadiers. There's the enemy reinforcements coming in. Go to mercenaries, you're up here. Secure this gate. You need to secure the gates rapidly. Too big to manoeuvre properly, that's the problem. You can attack the armed citizenry. You men get off the walls. The infantry deal with this unit. Can you men secure that gate? Can you men attack the last of the gendarmerie. Can you kill that last grenadier guard. Cavalry here. Lots of killing of the troops outside. The you men keep attacking them. Charge in the back of the Freyjäger. Jäger. center. You guys don't secure. Don't secure anything. You need to just run in. My artillery, just get out of here. We have no need for any of you. These marines have to get over here and defend, get ready to defend this gate. Kill the horse guards. Oh, I don't know. I suppose you guys can be useful. Shoot at the militia with. Trap or Shah. Okay, they're going to retake this gatehouse if we're not careful. Here comes the Hussars. Okay, you men. Get over to here. Kill the mortar crew. You get killed the last of this cavalry. Marines, command, uh, control, man this section of 
war. Swiss mountaineer, you yeah, also get over here. Kill the gunners, although could just run heavy cavalry on top of here and in 40 seconds the city will be ours. Take it, take it, take it. Five cavalrymen left here to deal with. Guerrilla mercenaries have recovered, but we don't really care now. They can't get in that way. Kill them, run in from the rear. Although in a handful of seconds it will not matter. Unless that cursey <laughs> hair resets the counter. Lone Cuirassier. This has been a very cheese battle. Got in there, captured it by holding the centre and nothing else. But still, the end result is significant. The Prussians are gone. Let's repair and replenish the troops inside. Let's push up a unit of infantry. To replace the sector of the infantry that they got destroyed. Let's push some of these units out of their fort, out of their um, ports. Excellent. So you need to stay nearby while they protect themselves. Do you have any towns? No villages left. Right, let's demolish the Weaver's Cottage because you want to replace it with a church school to start spreading that sweet, sweet Catholicism. Uh, but I think what we definitely want to do is take Luca Comin and attack Jakobus Schaefer. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more Venetian action. Cheers, everyone.